How are you guys? Steve, back at you yet again with another video. Yes, you can notice I don't have my hat on this time. That's okay. Uh, just decide to go with the sunglasses this time. May have to lose the sunglasses at some point. Maybe not during the video, but may just start getting rid of these sunglasses. So, <sighs> water. I am covering up the label to uh, get rid of that whole copyright infringement stuff. Stuff. I'm sure that that still applies to water at some point. I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. But as you can probably already tell, this is gonna be a pretty random video. Uh, I've decided to just start doing these random uh, vlogs. I guess they're not totally random because there's going to be vlogs that I do on Saturdays or Fridays. Uh, I'm really trying to get back into the spirit of my YouTube channel. And, you know, I, I've just not been doing anything lately. And I just feel like I should do something. So these vlogs are going to be uh, just stuff to uh, uh, talk about, you know, just uh, just do something, put some substance out there. Uh, they will have absolutely no uh, point to them. They'll just be long, rambling vlogs about uh, me and my experiences with movies, with life, and other crap like that. So, um, but there will mostly be a lot of horror stuff in there, so. And you will notice I have decided for a major motif of the, these vlogs to be that I will be drinking and or eating something during the vlog. Look at this right here. You may not be able to see it too good, but it is a cheese dip, queso blanco cheese dip. Tastes pretty darn good. I'm eating it with... Some crackers. Yep. Here it goes. Pretty darn delicious, if I do say so myself. So get down to business with these vlogs so I'm gonna try and put one up every Friday and, and or Saturday probably just once a week uh, one on Saturday or Friday so uh, start getting used to these because they're gonna be happening as long as of course I get some good uh, um, you know response on it but anyway thought I'd just start out I went to uh, town today and I picked up uh, uh, seven little titles here and um, I'm just going to show them to you in alphabetical order well the DVDs are in alphabetical order I did get one VHS and I'll uh, show you that at the very last of this little update part um, first thing I picked up was Halloween <coughs> Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 and um, I must say this is a piece of crap movie I hate Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, but I try to, uh, I've only seen the uh, theatrical version. I have that on a little four pack um, upstairs in the room. But, you know, right now, I decided for a dollar uh, at Dan's Pawn Shop, I would pick up Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, the unrated director's cut, just see if it's any better whatsoever. Although I have heard from numerous sources that the theatrical version is the version to watch. So, yeah. But, Halloween 2, uh, I hope the director's cut is a little bit better than the theatrical version, although I'm pretty sure it's not. Next, uh, The Man Who Knew Too Much, Alfred Hitchcock film. A uh, little thin, slim case here. Uh... Yeah, just came from uh, Dan's Pawn Shop yet again. They're having a $1 movie sale today. Uh, so, yeah. If you go to Dan's, pick up some $1 movies. But, yeah, I really, really like, uh, you know, just the cover art already. I don't know. I mean, I've never seen this, but 
you know, it's simple cover art, but somehow there's something about it that I like. I don't know, maybe it's just Peter Laurie's face on there. I don't know. But, the man who knew too much. Next, I picked up a lot of Alfred Hitchcock stuff, and I could have picked up some more. Uh, but, this is the special edition DVD of Alfred Hitchcock's Sabotage. It also has The Lodger on there. Yeah. Uh, I have never seen Sabotage. I feel like I've heard more than a little bit about The Lodger, but I've never actually seen it all the way through. I haven't seen a ton of Hitchcock, Hitchcock flicks, but the ones that I've seen, man, they're good. They are, they are amazing. Hitchcock is probably, uh, next to John Carpenter, probably one of my favorite directors. He's right up there with John Carpenter and Wes Craven, you know. I just love Hitchcock. I love anything that he does, so I'm sure that I'll like these. Next, um, a film that I've been looking for for a long time. Uh, you know, I haven't been able to find it in, in forever uh, since the last time I saw it at Hastings, but found it at Dan's, and uh, yeah, it's kind of beat up looking. It's a uh, it's an ex rental, but I like it. Satan's Little Helper. Uh, I saw this on Netflix once, and, I mean, first of all, look at the cover art. I love the cover art. Um, and you may notice that I left this uh, little blockbuster symbol on right there, but, you know, I decided to leave that on just because the uh, video store industry is pretty much dying, and I want something to remember it by. And this is a film that made its way in uh, the uh, video stores. Without the video store, this film would not have gotten any success, any recognition. Um, but, you know, now, today, we're, we're talking about uh, Satan's Little Helper because of video stores. So I'm going to leave that on there, and uh, I'll get to rewatch this probably sometime tonight. Uh, yeah. Satan's Little Helper is a very interesting little slash ride. It's just fun. You know, funny at the same time. No real scares, but it's got such a weird premise. Mm. Good cheese dip. Alright. Trying to complete my Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, film collection. And, uh. Sorry, that was a cheese dip. Cracker. Stuff like that. But, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, the remake. I've never seen the remake. I've heard bad things about it. I've heard good things about it. I've heard mediocre things about it. But, overall, I think this is a film that you either love or hate. Uh,. I have yet to see it. I'll figure out what I think about it later, and I will tell y'all, probably in a review or something like that. Sorry again. But something along those lines. Yeah. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Guys, there's something I gotta do on this computer. Okay. But yeah, Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre, the remake. Uh... I'm going to see how this is. I like the beginning uh, that they did after this um, as a prequel to the remake. So I, I feel like I'll probably like the remake, maybe a little bit at least. And I love the original. Uh, I love the second one. So I'm kind of hoping that I like this one. Okay. And then finally in the DVD update... Uh, this is this is kind of uh, one of the most anticipated things uh, of this update, uh, most anticipated movie, and that's uh, Texas Chainsaw. Um, yeah, of course, also known as Texas Chainsaw 3D. I did not get it on 3D. Uh, I do not have a 3D television, so what's the point? But you know, I got this at Dan's, brand new packaging. There was even a uh, um, ultraviolet code right here, tore it off. Uh, well, not a code, but, you know, ultraviolet you know, advertisement. I would have gotten the Walmart thing off, 
before the video, but I'm going to try that later with a uh, pocket knife. See if I can get it off in a nice clean way instead of just leaving tons of residue and stuff. But came with a slip cover, I mean, and everything. Uh, this actually seems like it's pretty well rounded release overall. I mean, it's got a lot of nice special features on it and stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of anticipating watching this. And yet again, just like the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, uh, I've heard good things and I've heard bad things. Uh, and I've heard things in the middle. So, you know, maybe Texas Chainsaw will deliver for me. I don't know. Uh, maybe it will, maybe it won't. If it doesn't, then uh, I've only wasted a dollar. So, why not? Crap. This just happened, okay? Look at this. Ooh, this is a shame. When this breaks off, when something breaks off in, like, sauce and stuff like that, just sucks. You gotta dig your fingers in there. You gotta dig your fingers in there and you gotta pull it out. And now your fingers are all covered with crap. But at least you can lick your fingers. Let's see. This is what the randomness of these vlogs is gonna be doing. I will go on and on about random crap. But, uh, yeah. There's another one that just snapped off. I'm getting it out. Wish you could see me doing this. Doing like this. Get those, get those crumbs off my finger. Alright. And then, finally, the last thing of the update. Um, this is, I was so happy to find this. And though I believe it was a bit overpriced, I'm, uh, I'm happy with, I'm happy with the thought that I got it. And, um, you know, this is just a VHS of a movie I already have. But, I had to double dip because it's one of my favorite films of all time. Uh, probably my number two film of all time, next to Halloween. Of course, it could even be equal to Halloween. I'm not sure, but it's it's a uh, VHS of Scream. Yeah, I'll show you the side here. Um, no, it's fine. I'll show you the spine there. And I'll show you the back. Oh, shoot. I was wanting to show that last, but the back. And now, let me show you the front, because this is really what sold me on this VHS. This alternate cover art, it's Nev Campbell's face in that awesome pose. That's what sold me on this. I paid $3 for this VHS. Of course, it's in pristine condition. It is in awesome condition. I do have a couple of uh, complaints, but not not anything really that big. The, uh, the merchant at Peddler's Mall that I bought this from uh, writes his prices on there, and I'm not a fan of that, because this is something that I'm wanting to collect, uh, because I realized on the back here, it says, exclusive Nev Campbell packaging edition, also available in Drew Barrymore, uh, Courtney Cox, an ensemble cast series, or covered, or something like that, versions, okay, but, yeah, I just love this cover art. I love the film. And uh, I'm kind of excited to rewatch this on VHS just for the experience. And also, it says here, down here, uh, it includes exclusive behind the scenes Scream featurette. Now, this could very well be the exact same featurette that they put out with the DVD release. Or it could be totally different. It could be a totally different. Uh, um, behind the scenes feature and I'm just really 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 hoping that it is something different because I want to see some more screen I love this movie um, this I mean Ghostface is my second favorite uh, horror killer of all time uh, and I mean I go back and forth between Scream and Halloween as my favorite horror film ever uh, it's most of the time Halloween but maybe right now it could be Scream uh, it's just, I love this movie so much, 
and I could probably go on a, a gigantic rant about how much I love Scream. Uh, and I could talk about it probably for hours, but, you know, this vlog, although it is going to be long, I mean, I'm already at the, um, I'm running the wrong way. I am already at the 15 minutes and 25 seconds mark, and, um, you know, I don't want to make it much longer, uh, than probably 15, 20 minutes. So I'm not going to go on and on and on and on and on and on and on about how much I love the Scream uh, franchise as a whole, or just Scream by itself. But, you know, I, I really, really, really love that movie. I love everything about it. I find no flaws in it. Uh, whereas Halloween has flaws. You just don't notice them because it's that good a filmmaker. Uh, the filmmaking is so good that you can't notice those flaws until you've watched it 30, 40, 50 times. Uh, with Scream, I haven't, I've probably watched it 40, 50 times, uh, as well as Halloween, and I still can't find any flaws. Uh, and I just, I think that's really, really cool. I mean, uh, okay, there might be a couple of things wrong with it, uh, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. It's not a perfect film, but I feel like it is. You know, to me, it is the epitome of horror. Uh, I love it. It may not be as scary as some other horror films, but it is brilliant. And, uh, you know, the very first Neo Slasher uh, ever, you know, uh, which is a, a subgenre of the slasher subgenre. I guess you call it a sub subgenre that I just love, and, uh, yeah, I can't figure anything else out to say except, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I love Scream. <coughs> Not strangled there. You guys want to see something? I'm going to chug this water, just for the heck of it, for you guys, because I love it. Okay, but I'm going to chug this. <sighs> this is a very cold water, or was a very cold water. And me chugging it hurts because it's that cold. Just joking, I totally didn't puke. Uh yeah. I hope you I hope I tricked you guys. Thank you. But you know, whatever. Drink some water. Eat some sauce and crackers. Do an update. Yeah. You know, when I picked up uh, this edition of Scream here, what I had in mind at first was just, oh my gosh, I love this cover art. Because I do. It's very, very cool. I love it. Uh, I love the original Scream cover art as well. But second thing that ran through my mind was, oh god, it's three dollars. <laughs> and let's admit that. VHS tapes are out of print, but they are not sought after, like out of print Blu-rays or DVDs. Put them for 50 cents, please. 50 cents, a dollar, I would pay that. And I would be happy that I paid that. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm very, very happy to have this. But, at the same time, for a used VHS, which is a format that we do not just seek after for ages. I mean, you might be a VHS collector, and I, I appreciate that. You're very cool. But, man, $3 is too much for DVDs, man. <laughs> 
Uh, and like this this same guy who does the vending, uh, vending is that a word? I don't know. Uh, he sells them. He sells VHS tapes and DVDs of movies over at uh, Peddler, my local Peddler's Mall. You might not you might not know what Peddler's Mall is, but whatever. Uh, but over at my local Peddler's Mall, which is a thrift shop, uh, he sells used DVDs and used movies. Well, not uh, yes, used movies, but used VHS tapes and used um, DVDs. Uh, the DVDs are five bucks each, and the movies, not VHS tapes, I'm sorry. Uh, well, they're overpriced. And I, I love, I love this station because they have tons and tons of very interesting things. Just walls of VHS tapes and DVDs and stuff like that. And I think he even has a couple posters, I'm not sure, but... Uh, but he's selling them for three bucks for a VHS tape and five bucks for a used DVD. That's kind of ticking me off here. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> it's too much to pay. Uh, I could go to Hastings and get a pretty good, uh, uh, VHS tape for a dollar, you know, 99 cents actually. But... The thing about him is he does have rare ones, so I guess to sum up my feelings on that is just, it's a bad price, but for what I'm paying for, I'm good for paying for this. I don't think I would pay for anything else unless he gave me a Halloween VHS, or maybe a uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street VHS. Other than that, I mean, I don't think I could go for it. Uh, although... I will seek after these other VHS tapes like this uh, because I really, really like these alternate cover arts. And if I can find one with Courtney Cox's face, uh, that'd be great. Or the ensemble cast, that'd be great. But at the same time, you know, also the Drew Barrymore face, I mean, that's kind of already on everything else. But I don't know, I'll probably pick it up. I mean... I hope to pay less than three dollars for it. If I wanted to, if I could, I'd love to get it for two bucks. You know, two or three. Well, not three, but maybe two to fifty cents. Fifty cents to two dollars. That's my range for VHS tapes, guys. No more. Uh, I mean, I bought DVDs here. Now, this is a brand new DVD, essentially, for a dollar. Yes, this is used, but it's it doesn't look like it. It's uh, it runs perfectly well, you know, but it's whatever. So, uh, I'm going to try and end the vlog there. I don't want to go too much into it. You guys have lives other than, you know, just watching me on YouTube, and uh, I respect that. I know you guys need to uh, get and do other stuff, but uh, I hope this has been fun for y'all. I, I think it's been pretty darn fun for me, and... Uh, yeah, I can't wait to do it again, actually. I think it's it's something that I'm going to start uh, start doing every week. So, uh, rock on, guys. If you like, subscribe. Uh, if you like this video, like it. And if you don't like this video, dislike it. But uh, And just give me some feedback in the comments on this as well. Well, rock on. See y'all later. Like if you like. Uh, subscribe if you want to. And uh, I'll see y'all later. Bye.